gorgeous beings. How are you doing? I'm going to dive in. Stay around for the next 30 seconds or two minutes to find out if this is for you, okay? The world card followed by the two of cups, followed by the nine of cups, followed by the queen of pentacles, followed by the seven of pentacles, the ace of wands, the ace of swords, the death card, the queen of swords and the sun. Bottom of the deck, nine of pentacles. Wow. Underneath that, there's a whole story coming out, starting with the ten of cups. I'm looking at someone who is closing out an old cycle. An old cycle of being alone. An old cycle of holding on to money really, really tightly. Saving every penny. A new cycle with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. There's a passionate new beginning. But you're clear about this. Sometimes when the Ace of Wands come out, you're like, yes, passion, something new. But it doesn't mean it's going to work. It doesn't mean it's stable. Fire burns hot. Ace of Swords. Oh, this is a smart new beginning. This is great. Followed by the death card. You've cut something out of your life very, very significantly for this to come in. Top of the front of the mind, top of this spread, Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy. So you could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But at the end of the day, you are grounded in this wish. You manifested this back of the mind, Nine of Cups. The hope and fear, Queen of Swords. So you're worried quite a bit about whether or not you're going to turn your back to this, be cold to this, if you can really embrace it. The outcome, the sun, future space, Ace of Wands, outcome long term the sun wow 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 we're not stopping if you know this is for you you're receiving this energy you want to know the ins and outs hit that like for me please feel free to subscribe if you want to share your story in the comments do and always check the descriptions of my readings because there's always the links that are important that guide you around all this other stuff that's going on. And the homepage is full of content and full of other channels I have that offer healing and debate on a range of different topics. But let's dive in now on this. The world card, followed by the Ten of Pentacles. This cycle of you being alone is coming to an end because the Two of Cups is now being met with the Ten of Cups. You are meeting... emotional fulfillment like you've never had before in a relationship not only that it's underneath the it's above the nine of cups the nine of cups is beneath this you've been wishing for this a really long time queen of pentacles at the front is now met with the four of wands You've worked really hard and committed to this. It looks like a stable new beginning in your life. It's stable financially, stable emotionally. There's equal amounts of coin, equal amounts of water, equal about amounts of passion with the wands here. Four of wands, ace of wands. There's way more water than anything else, actually, because you've got ten of cups, nine of cups, and two of cups. This is emotionally fulfilling. Um, you might be a bit taken aback, gobsmacked. A lot's going on here. Ace of Swords. You are really clear in your mind about this. Let's see that the past, Seven of Pentacles met with a Five of Cups. You've had to go really slow with this. Really slow. Because you were grieving a relationship from the past. You were grieving a past life in this lifetime. Maybe grieving family. Five of cups, those three cups are on the floor, aren't they? All spilled out. Free relationships, free family members, free things you loved, free assets, however you want to look at it. The 3D dimension that you know was really rattled and you had to patiently work on getting better and back to a good place. You had to heal relationships. Some of you, this is coming back together with someone you love. Next card, on top of the Ace of Wands, listen to this, the Wheel of Fortune. On top of the Ace of Wands, in your immediate future, the Wheel of Fortune. 
This is a destined new beginning after a real struggle and slow move forward. This is everything you've wished for and want in your life. I'm not one of those readers to lick ass and tell you the good stuff in the cards and not tell you the truth. Ace of Swords coming out with Three of Swords. You are clear about what you've been through in the past, the heartbreak and grief you've had in the past. King of Swords coming out on top of the Death card, telling me you've already got the Queen of Swords opposite. There's been issues in a relationship. Some of you have said this is reconciliation. Could be a husband, wife, separation, divorce. Could be a twin flame situation. But I get a lot more grounding in um, heavy emotions and business. Someone you really care about, none the least, right? Victory coming out with the six of wands on top of the sun. But I'm still not even finished with the death card and the king of swords yet. The death card and the king of swords, I'm adding cards to it now. Six of cups. Issues in the past around a cold masculine, but then I'm looking at a cold fe feminine who is worrying about an apology, worrying about the lighter emotions of the conversation. The queen over here in hopes and fears is up at night worrying about apologies, emotions, the right thing to say. And then opposite that, there's a king of swords who is grieving death card out defeated five of swords six of pentacles regretting the past regretting what's happened there's a real mirror in vibration because firstly two of cups ten of cups all up in the place with the nine of cups this is wish fulfillment for whoever's connecting with this but there's a king of swords struggling and a queen of swords struggling and it's about the, this is the relationship that's taken the sacrifice. The three of swords have been here, heartbreak, five of cups is out, struggle, three of, five of swords is here for the king. In this situation, someone feels like they've won and someone feels like they've lost. It looks like the masculine has been defeated but looks like he's won. He looks victorious in this image, right? So some level of this, the masculine is coming off victorious. He's won, he's done incredibly well. He's moved forward and he's let this situation go. And it looks like you're in the background, feminine, if you're watching, you're walking away in defeat of this relationship. You're worried. Maybe you should have apologized. Maybe you should have said this. Maybe you should have done that. It looks like the masculine is in a very different place, not focused at all in this situation, but the feminine is up at night worrying deeply about this. Let's keep going. I'm gonna dive into the Ace of Wands and the Sun. Okay, hold on. The Five of Swords has, has just met the Five of Wands. So I was shuffling and out fell the Five of Wands on top of the five of swords right next to the masculine the masculine has more to tell us eight of swords the lovers okay six of swords three of wands so i said that the masculine was feeling victorious and looking victorious in this situation but what the feminine doesn't see or maybe what is keeping the feminine up at night and i said for some reason the feminine's worried if she's going to turn her back or not to this and in the image she's turning her back and looking away covering her eyes she doesn't want to see it because she's worrying about this because it looks like the masculine the king of swords is going through five of wands he's fighting some serious stuff he's still wrapped in eight of swords Still in the lover's energy, needing to make a choice. Still surrounded by six of swords, which is moving forward. And three of wands, not waiting anymore. There's a lot of stuff that the feminine has not seen in this dynamic. Yeah? That's a lie, to be honest with you. Because the feminine is looking away. The feminine doesn't want to see. She knows that there's a lot of moving on that needs to happen because the eight of cups is now coming up 
on top of the five of swords and the five of wands. She understands that the masculine needs to move away from whatever this is. And that in order for there to be a happy ending or a new beginning, this is going to result in heartache and the three of swords. This is going to hang, ha turn into the hangman. This is a risky situation. A risky risk for nine of cups. A risky risk. Who even says that? I don't know, but that's the only words I've got. A risky risk. The feminine is dreading the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Energy moving towards her in the dark. Do you get what I mean? I, I Like initially I was a bit confused, right? So I feel like I'm on a freeway with you, me and my higher self and spirit. So that's why I'm like, do you get what I mean? Because I'm talking to my higher self and then I'm realising we are recording. So don't mind me as I talk to spirit and you at the same time, because I'm looking at the cards and I'm asking the divine, I'm asking spirit at the same time, I'm clairvoyant, right? I'm like, eight Knight of Cups has come out. Why would the feminine be worried about Knight of Cups? She's worried about the masculine moving towards her with a cup of love. Then Knight of Cups, Pentacles have come out. She's worried about the masculine moving forward to her after a really long time, really slowly making an offer that she's going to have to turn her back on. So an offer of love and an offer of money, which was the main thing at the centre of the reading with the world and the nine of pentacles and the two of cups and the ten of cups and the queen of cups and the, the four of wands, sorry, the queen of pentacles and the four of wands and the nine of cups and the fall loads of stuff going on here positively but the feminine is going whoa if this shows up to me in cups and money in the dark in the moon energy out of nowhere that i can't see and i'm hit with a king of cups then there may be nine of wands either side of it there may be resistance juggling in balance um, boundaries, blockages, things that prevent this from manifesting, a decision that the feminine's going to have to make that could lead into a non-committal energy or a, or a smaller offer or having to sacrifice something else because intuitively the high priestess is out. Let me tell you how I've seen this. Nine of wands, two of swords two of pentacles it's like with the king of cups the king of cups come out and the, the feminine's like if if the, if the king of cups approaches me i might have to have my guard up i might have to say no i might not want to carry on with this i might want to go through with the separation i might want to end this i might want to not carry on this way I, want to, I might want to delete this conversation i might want to press exit on this this journey yeah so the two of pentacles and the two of swords is i'm not sure if i'm going to choose this or if i'm going to have to juggle real concerns from the feminine i might have to sacrifice this and go for a smaller offer page of wands remember we've got the ace of wands and the wheel of fortune this is destiny this feels more like destiny for this um, feminine energy here who is weighing up all of our options and saying I don't want to sacrifice my ace of wands for a page of wands because my new beginning is massive and it is the wheel of fortune and if the masculine comes at me with a lower vibration in king of cups with nine of wands energy I'm going to have to make a sacrifice and this is going to become page of wands energy and it's going to be an indecision that i'm going to have to juggle or not go forward with which will make me non-committal to whatever this is because it looks like there's movement together between the two in a relationship emotionally but on a much grander level with the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles and all this money here right materialism is here i'm not seeing like the ace of cups or like big money energy but i'm seeing stable material ground um accruing 
through love and light, positive energy, real, real establishment, right? But it's like, I don't want to be non-committal in this energy because intuitively I sense that, let me be clear on that sensing. What is the high priest just seeing and concerned about? A flash in the pan. Ace of Pentacles, here we go. Ace of Pentacles, I don't need to be up in my head about this situation. I don't need something that's going to fly in and fly out and impact my Empress energy. Because now the Queen of the Queen of Swords, who I said is being um, turning away, saying I'm not sure if I can, I'm going to want to deal with this. It's because she's protecting her Empress ascent. The Queen of Swords, first time I've been calling the Queen of Swords a bitch all day. Because that's my cold cutting bitch card. And I've been saying that in every reading she's come out of. And she's coming out today saying, I have been a cold cutting bitch. That is correct. That's because I'm protecting my empress ascent. Because my destiny is over here with the ace of wands. And I don't want to risk losing that. Because the moment I align to my ace of wands, ace of pentacles pull up. And I don't need to be in my head with seven of cups when the ace of pentacles pulls up. Because I've worked really hard on this. Seven years, seven months, seven L's, seven things that are fucked up. And there seems to be a blocking communication at this time. I've been saying oath a lot. And I feel like I'm not even saying it the right way. I mean O-A-T-H. When you take an oath, yeah? And in that, it's kind of like, there's a lot of spirituality, there's a lot of vows that is being worked on. And the Seven of Swords is showing up whilst all of these vows are being worked on. I don't need anything in my life that isn't 100% aligned to faith and aligned to my manifestation. Yeah, the grits and the will and the determination of the Empress in this reading is a testament to powerful women everywhere. I'm not giving up and I'm not backing down and I would love to see an emperor pull up. If you're not going to be the emperor, you don't need to show up. That's exactly the energy. I'm ascending to my empress. I would like to see you ascend to your emperor. If that isn't the case, then I'm really sorry because then I'm going to feel guilty because I'm going to have to um, move on and I don't want to leave you in ten of swords. The devil's out next to the Ten of Swords, imagine. And the Queen of Cups. This is women through and through, in my opinion. Tell me I'm wrong. This feminine's been sitting in so much heavy emotion from the past with the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and all of this journey and what she's seen going on with this masculine, that it really has been a point of, I don't want to fall down, have a breakdown, emotionally be distressed over all of this stuff that I can see is happening intuitively or I can see that's happening in the open. I need to protect myself and my heart if I'm going to be successful and independent on my own. As much as I love you and love all of this, I need to protect what I have and I really hope you're receiving this and protecting yourself too. Because the emperor is attached to the devil. There's toxic energy around this. That could be the simply the three of swords that didn't make it to the ace of swords yet. Cleaning up the energy from the past. Both of these um, people, masculine and feminine, have a really, had a really difficult journey. Five of pentacles and the ten of swords is... The Emperor, the Devil, and the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever was manifested in the past, it got turned into something unhealthy. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Six of Pentacles. It needs to be equal give and take. It needs to be balanced and healthy. Hermit and the Queen of Cups. It needs to be emotionally mature. It needs to be emotionally intelligent. It needs to be emotionally resilient. And it needs to be emotionally receptive. There needs to be balance from your internals to your outernal. This feminine is in power 
driving seat and she is demanding to be aligned to the highest vibration that meets her highest vibration. Ten of Pentacles now met by the King of Pentacles. What I mean by that is any imbalance, any low vibration, the devil and the emperor shows a darker handed side in Korea, in business. I wanted to say bereavement, in life, in grief, journeying through things. It's a very easy in business and in relationships to get into unhealthy habits or to go down a darker route for money and ascension. The dark versus the light is in real battle here, not because there is any darkness, but because whatever this five of wands conflict was, and this three of swords in the past was, that created the eight of swords and the hanged man, which is fear, heartbreak, being stuck, unclear, defeated, moving on, fighting off really toxic energy, the masculine going through this, while the feminine can see this and is on the outside, potentially being blocked, deleted, ghosted, aired, whatever's gone on, she's gone, okay, the emperor vibration cannot meet me. And I have to keep being strong and intelligent in my queen of swords energy air energy so i can move forward because i need to align to my highest self the empress i can see the future i can see the prophecy and the empress in me is coming up i would really desire an emperor in their power to join me but i know many emperors and many have a dark misogynistic capitalistic agenda with the devil card i want to refrain from attracting that vibration my choice in love and money harm harmony and healing is forward facing and center at this time and i'm gonna have to turn away from anything that isn't the most integritous pure high vibrational love and money because i really desire growth integritous as fuck yeah she's taking zero burdens i love this i've told so many uh, readings this um week that i'm going to put some books in the community notes there's a book called the highly sensitive it has christian um, scripture in it and one of the um paragraphs talks about burden bearing how I'm learning again through that book about how to not burden others with the news I bear. In it, it talks about clairvoyance and gifted people in a very different way because obviously Christianity is different. But it talks about you being a highly sensitive person and not sharing the information you have with people who don't want to receive it. And that's the biggest burden and the life lesson that I've had to date is... As women, women intuition is real and gifted spiritualists are real. We receive intelligence and we don't know what to do with it. And as long as I've lived up until 35, which is just around the corner because I just turned 36, I've just been blabber mouthing off everything I see and feel. And it's always deep emotionally. And it probably triggers everyone and gives everyone a shocking tower moment. A tower moment in tarot is a sudden sudden shocking event overwhelm trigger trauma too much information but i don't know how else i'm supposed to carry these burdens these dreams this vision this prophecy that keeps coming true this message that i know is about you what do i do and i can't heal sitting on this and i can't tell you either so I'm, I'm practicing, I'm learning, I'm trying to be a better human being. I'm trying to understand what I do with gifts like this in a world like this. I see my destiny, I'm going towards it, but I've never had to grow up in a world like this where, like I was, like, this is my example, but I'm connecting it to this female as well. It's like I've grown up in a spiritual community where everyone around me is spiritual or I'm with family and friends that are close. My circles are close and intimate and I have uh, people I read for who know me and pe people I read for are in my small community. So when I kind of go out and read for other people, people that are online, every now and then influences different people that I've read for around the world. Every now and then I started to see stuff happening, more serious things coming towards them and i'm like oh my god what do i do i'm not in the position to reach out to them and really talk to them that's bad 
God, am I supposed to tell them something? Am I supposed to do something about that? Oh my God, I've had this vision. I don't want that to come true. What am I supposed to do with this information? And it's overwhelming and you're panicked. And that's what I get for this feminine. She's seeing the disaster afoot, right? And, and sometimes you can't intervene. You don't know this person well enough. You can't just DM them and say, do you know what? We haven't really spoken, or but I've seen this. Or I've given you a reading one time before and I've seen this. Do you know what? You know when I spoke to you about this? I just had a dream about this. That, like, that, it's a scary world to play in. I've done social, verse, social media versus reality. As a spiritual life coach, coach, clairvoyant, giving out loads of free readings to everyone, doing Zooms and life coaching and doing free readings all over tarot with you just out there with my face and on the camera really intimate sessions with everyone else it really took over my mind and i really started to just lose myself and fall, fall into everyone else's energy and seeing stuff that's happening over and over again i'm watching space and time collide in front of my eyes in the ecosystem that i'm at with all the people around me that are involved and all the stories that i'm prophesizing and broadcasting are playing out in reality in all these people's lives and i know who everyone is and what's going on and a lot of these people hate each other they've got beef there's drama here and there i'm now roped in i thought i was doing a positive thing that for the community and now I feel like it's not now I feel it's dark and now I feel like because there's dark energies here who are trying to compete with each other and get ahead this person doesn't like this person this person doesn't like this person they're all watching your channel and it's fine as a vlogger and someone else no one knows who's watching but as a fucking clear voyant opening up the channel talking about your personal life and business oh my god does that person know that that person knows that that person knows that they're all in here at this time reading this and watching this and they don't actually get on and they they actually got problems with each other whoa how did i end up in the center of the community feeding all of these people information and these people don't even really like me or vibe with my energy this is not who i am this is going to create ripples and tension if any of them know about the other person's story are they connecting the dots do they know what i know Oh my God, I need to get out. And then time is crashing. It's like a domino effect. Everything started crashing in my reality because I could see the reality of what I was creating and it was horrifying. It was overwhelming. I had to go away and learn my gifts and abilities, start again, you know, cleanse my energy of everyone that was involved in it. Try and forgive people for the stuff that I saw that I wished was conspiracy and pseudo and not real, but it was real life. And then I realised actually as a positive, I was helping loads of people and loads of people were genuinely coming to me to heal and see what was going on. But there was also a lot of toxicity going on over there. And I wouldn't hang around with those people in normal life and agree with what they've done, a load of these people. And a lot of them wouldn't even acknowledge me in real life, but everyone's sitting down, diving into the channel and I'm opening up to their energy and talking about their lives. And it's quite intimate stuff. These readings are quite intimate. And as a hermit, I like to stay private. So the fact that I felt in the center of all of this and talking about everyone else's personal life and I'm opening up all the time. I always share my stories. I'm sharing one right now, you know. We was all really vulnerable in a space where we've never been vulnerable like that before. A lot of these people don't open up and speak about their emotions. They would never talk pub publicly about the things that I've addressed. So I had to really get my morals in check and think how do I do this healthy enough for everyone else how do I protect myself and how do people not feed on my energy how do people not use me in a negative way to get what they want and use my gifts against me use my gifts to get ahead and steal someone else out of money and compete and manipulate I saw really dark sides and really dark triad traits in the readings and it made me sad because I came here to do love and light stuff and be positive and I wanted to help and um People were manipulating my content for, for their own personal gain. And um, I thought I was never going to come back to social media after that. Created a lot of ripple in my family as well because my family didn't really know what was going on and they just wasn't really willing to listen and understand the level of research I was in at the time and what this really meant for my career and my ascension in business. But now I'm back and I'm stronger and I'm wiser and I'm, I'm using this platform in a healthy new way. And I, I've learned how to create healthy blockages um, between your energy and mine, the clear separation. And the, the, the channel is purified, if we want to say it like that, yeah? That's why we can do amazing readings like this and have such beautiful conversations in healing ways without creating wormholes all over the internet. 
Yeah, quantum entanglement is real and it's not cute and it's not healthy. And that's what you and this feminine know or you and this masculine have been going through. Last cards to sum this up because, yeah. King of Pentacles, Temperance, Ten of Wands, Two of Cups out. Again, Two of Cups is not leaving. Confirmation, the masculine is balancing out this vibration and letting go of any burdens and walking away. Could be walking away from the Two of Cups in order to make sure he has Six of Pentacles. And a whole load of balance with the Queen of Cups. So he doesn't end up out in the cold from Ten of Pentacles. Whatever the feminine is said, Devil card, Knight of Swords, Empress, and the High Priestess, this feminine is, wow. With the King of Wands, yeah. The feminine is making sure she removes all haste and any ideology um, that could crop up. Because like attracts like, right? In relation to non-committal energy, a flash in the pan energy, indecisive energy, juggling energy, blocking avoidance energy, and the fact that she's going to be emotionally mature enough to not hide in the shadows and be willing to take a risk with this, genuinely. And not be caught up in any low vibration, which is the devil card, the toxicity, the juggling, the non-committal, the sacrifice that she doesn't want to make. That she shouldn't have to make and wouldn't need to make if this is well communicated. It would align, right? So the masculine's mirroring that and walking off towards independence and balance where the burdens are dropped and then finding their way into six of pentacles, like I said, with to avoid five of pentacles, to avoid ten of swords, being out in the cold, being stabbed in the back, being broken and betrayed over this. And they're diving into the queen of cups energy to make sure they get their ten of pentacles. The masculine and the feminine, I said this in another reading, cannot tell you what one it was, maybe about uh, two weeks ago now, when I spoke about maybe in the twin flame update or one of the twin flame and one of the masculine or feminine readings, the, the feminine has gone into king of cups. The masculine has gone into queen of cups. They've swapped energies. This is happening um, energetically around the cycles of the moon. This is happening slowly because there's transmutation taking place in a very alchemical way. Yeah. Chariot. Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles and Page of Swords with the Queen of Wands, the counterpart to the King. Knight of Wands, Tower, Three of Cups, Judgment, the Sun and the World. Whoa, I couldn't even stop pulling because the story is just telling itself. Both parties have gone off into opposing um, yin and yang vibrations. They've swapped energies in order to fight off this resistance, to fight off that devil energy that keeps showing up, implying that there's more work that needs to be done internally or externally for this to manifest. Everyone's working hard on this manifestation. The page of pentacles has come out with a little offer. Yeah, so maybe there's been some kind of inclination, some kind of conversation, some kind of social media activity, some kind of message that has opened up the masculine to the Queen of Wands energy. Listen to this. This is shocking. The feminine is in King of Wands, King of Cups. The masculine is in Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. This is a yin and yang reversal. Knight of Wands. Because in order for anyone to move in out of the cold, there's going to have to be a real tower moment and a reverse shift. This is giving me Freaky Friday energy where you swap bodies, right? F three of Cups energy. Swapping bodies, swapping energies. This alchemical reversal has brought the judgment card, the sun, and the world. That's what's changing here. This is powerful here. It shows what um, 
people are really willing to do in life for love and for each other and for ascension and for what they care about and for dedication and once again that oaths there that hierophant energy which felt like the masculine taking an oath to do something really powerful The tower, the judgment, the sun and the world. There has to be a shocking shift in reality that comes from awakening of the masculine and feminine separately while they take on opposing roles. The feminine has fallen into the masculine vibration, king of wands, king of cups and mastered it. The masculine has fallen into feminine vibration, queen of wands, queen of cups and mastered it he has mastered this in pursuit of ten of pentacles he is evading the ten of swords he refuses to let this go the feminine is out here in the empress energy the high priestess energy and the devil she is aware of darker energy darker triad vibrations conflict from the past and she's intuitively using her feminine intuition to go i need to step into more of a masculine stance juggle my yin and yang transmute the devil be the empress in the situation and use my intuition for good against evil and as a result of that tower moment judgment card sun and the world shocking change transformation a new lease of life a purifying rebirth a baptism energy surrender transmutation the sun as the epitome of joy and the cycle closing out end of an era done and dusted mission complete this is, I'm going to label this mission complete. I'm not even going to dive into what happens next. The, the mission is complete and that's that. Whatever that means and whatever's coming, only masculine and feminine know. Because I try not to be predictive. I try to sit in the now moment energy. And in the now moment, everyone's in their power. And that is all we need to know. Love and light.